course, I'm going to rate this objectively, then subjectively on how fun they actually are to play and which ones I actually play the most. I'm going to put Berserker into A tier. Berserker's a ton of fun. He's very, he has the best survivability out of any other perk in the game. So he's extremely tanky. If you just, if you know how to actually play him, if you're, if you're spamming parry, you're utilizing his skills correctly, and you're not just going in there swinging randomly like a noob, then you can do extremely well with him. So he definitely deserves an A tier. I want to give him an S tier just because I feel like there's a few other perks that deserve to be S tier that should be higher than Berserker, but that's just me. In the wrong hands, Berserker could definitely be like a, a C or D if you don't know what you're doing, especially um, at, at lower levels we're talking about, then yeah, he, he sucks. He doesn't become good until like level 20 or 25. Commando. Commando is also an A tier. I would put Commando above Berserker just by a little bit. He's much more team oriented. Berserker is going to fill the, the tank role. Commando has Z time extensions, which is extremely useful for everyone. If you're playing regular um, Hell on Earth, then Commando is going to be less useful because you're probably going to have really annoying public players, you know, demolitionist firebugs who just go in their spam, don't really think, they don't understand the concept of teamwork, then yeah, Commando becomes way less useful, but he's still always going to be a very good trash killer. Assuming people aren't stealing your, your Z time and aren't being annoying, awful teammates, then yeah, he's, he's essential for Hell on Earth Plus, he is an essential perk. But I'm going to keep him in A tier just because I feel like... Just because I feel like I want to have a, there's a few other classes that are better than Commando. Demolitionist, I will put as a B. He's very middle of the road. He's good for flesh bounds with his RPG. He's decent for... He's very good for camping. Um, he's decent for trash. But I just feel like there's other perks like Commando, SWAT... Firebug will do a better job at trash than Demolitionist does. Field Medic, that has to be an S tier perk. Even though I would personally, I don't like Field Medics, I would put them at C or D in terms of enjoyment. But in terms of like objectively, he's essential for, for not, he's not essential, but he's can make a hard game to an easy game. Pretty much any stupid random public player can play as field medic and do pretty decently with him. And never go never never go combat medic. Um, that's my advice. But in terms of like heal thrower healing, he's absolutely an S tier perk. There's there's no getting around that. Then we have firebug. Firebug I would put also an A tier perk. Very good for trash. Um, he can be kind of a nuisance to literally everyone else on the team. Um, he drops your FPS, and he's kind of annoying, selfish perk, I feel like. But objectively, in the right hands, he is a powerhouse for trash. He is the best at trash. There's just how it is. Especially if you're camping, he can just pretty much take care of 99% of the kills. And it makes every other perk kind of feel useless when you're camping. Especially if you're just, like, camping, like, a single doorway or something like that. Gunslinger, this is an absolutely an S tier perk. He has the highest potential out of any other perk in the game. There's really, he doesn't have too many weaknesses. The only weakness he does actually have is his health. So if you pair him with Field Medic, you kind of become unstoppable. Completely destroys flesh bounds and strikes. And he also can, has very good mobility and he can deal with trash heads pretty decently as well. So yeah, he definitely deserves to be an S tier. Sharpshooter, I'm gonna put Sharp Sharpshooter at a low A tier. I just feel like Gunslinger does everything that Sharpshooter does better. Um, I mean, Sharpshooter does a slightly better job at dealing with bigger Zeds, but I've, I've rarely seen people actually play Sharpshooter well, so that's why I want to put him here. For me, I don't like playing Sharpshooter very much because I feel like he's too slow. He takes your aim has to be pretty much perfect in order to do well with him. With Gunslinger, your aim has to be decent, but you can still kind of spam with him and still do well with him. So I'm going to keep him in A just because I've seen people do super good with him on Hell and Earth Plus. Yeah, he's, he's a good perk all around. Just I just feel like Gunslinger is going to be better. Well, not is better. He is better, in my opinion. No offense. Gunslinger is better than Sharpshooter. I just want to clarify that, in my opinion, of course. Support, um, thought about putting support at B tier because he's, you know, he's, he is support. He supports the team. He's, he's the ammo man. Um, he gives you ammo and his shotguns are nice for, 
penetration and camping, but he doesn't do anything super well, so I'd rather have a support on my team than, than, than a demolitionist, um, so that's why I feel like he deserves to be an A tier. If he didn't have ammunition, yeah, he'd, I'd put him in B, but he's helpful for the team, and if you don't know what perk to play, then I would always recommend playing a support. He's helpful, of course. I mean, it's literally, it's, it's in his name. He's called Support, so, you know, you can't go wrong with him, I guess. Then we have Survivalist. Survivalist, I want to be honest, this perk should not exist. <laughs> he should not exist. He's going to go straight to D. Um, I don't think he should be in the game. He's uh, He has some very good loadouts, of course, but overall, I just, uh, someone has to be in D or tier, so it's, it's going to be Survivalist. Uh, I'm not going to put Swan through C tier, of course. That would be kind of a disservice to him. I used to think he was a C or D tier back then, but now he has the HRG nail gun and the G36, so I'm going to put him at B tier. There's nothing that SWAT does that other classes do better, so that's why he deserves to be a B tier. He, I mean, he does a better job at um, trash than Commando does, but he's not super necessary for the team. He doesn't really provide anything that commando can do almost just as good if not better and firebug is gonna be a better trash killer than swat does so they're like why would you be swat i mean objectively you don't really need swats but they are very fun to play so yeah um yeah that's objectively and how i view the perks in the game then if i'm going to rate them subjectively i'm going to swap this around quite a bit i'm going to put field medic straight to d tier in terms of subjectively he's he has toy nerf guns pretty much, so these like blue neon guns that just look kind of lame in my opinion. Um, I don't enjoy his weird goop guns, <laughs> whatever, you know, his mine gun and his all of his, he's just like, a, he's just, all of his guns feels like gimmicks. Um, even though he's very useful for the team, I just don't really enjoy playing him ever. If my team is doing that bad, I will go to field medic, but... That's, that's how you know my team is doing that bad that I have to personally go out of my way to play a class I don't enjoy. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in D tier subjectively. Commando is going to go to A tier. He's so much fun to play as long as the um, Gunslinger, which is what I play probably 80%, 90% of the time I play this game. Berserk, I'm going to keep it A tier. Firebug is going to go to B tier. I'm going to put SWAT up to A tier and Sharpshooter down to C tier. Berserker is a ton of fun, just kind of blare music and kind of go crazy with him. He's a lot of fun, very just tanky. You don't have to think too hard while you play him, which is always nice. You know, it's not like Gunslinger where you have to be super focused with his aim. SWAT, very high rate of fire, very fun class of player. I like his guns. Support, I love shotguns. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. Shotguns are cool. He's fun. His weapons are always just feel very, very powerful. Firebug gets very stale, very fast. I can play maybe one or two games of Firebug and then I'm kind of done with them for a while. Demolitionist is kind of the same. I don't like AoE perks just because I feel like they don't take as much skill. And I like the, the, the process of having to actually aim. And I feel like there's more room for improvement. With these skills, I feel like you're, you're not going to get that much better. I mean, you can get better at managing trash zeds with Demolitionist and you can get better at dealing with bigger zeds for Firebug but there's not much room for actual improvement for them. That's kind of, I don't want to be mean, but I feel like they're kind of brain dead perks. Don't think when you play them. So they're very kind of, they're, they're pretty boring. They're fun once in a while, but they're kind of boring. Sharpshooter, I have a very strong judgment against Sharpshooter. Every time I play him, it's like, why am I not playing Gunslinger? I like Sharpshooter's guns. If we're talking about guns, yeah, he's like S tier. But if we're talking about how fun he's actually to play, he's very slow. I just feel like I'm always going to do a better job with Gunslinger, and I just don't enjoy playing him that much. I just feel like I'm constantly dying, I always have like crawlers or something around me. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep him a C. Then, Survivalist, at least he has guns that are, you know, not nerf guns. So, you know, he has some good fun builds, but yeah, I don't, I rarely play Survivalist. And Field Medic, I barely ever play him. That's, um, subjectively and how I what classes I think are fun to play. So yeah, I went over um, objectively and then subjectively. Probably just gonna end it here. I don't think I'm, I could do more of these. Maybe I could rank the guns, but that would be like a 30 minute video. And yeah, that's, that's gonna be a long, 
um, that's going to be a long video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.